However, politicians are human beings and we have our limitations. We give it everything until we can't anymore and then we have to move on. Not many had expected this announcement from Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar. My reasons for resigning are both personal and political, he said without any further clarification. It comes less than a week after he met President Joe Biden and spoke on the immediate need for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of hostages held by Hamas. He also expressed solidarity for Ukraine. When he first took charge in 2017, he created records of sorts. At 38, he became the youngest Prime Minister of Ireland. He is the country's first gay leader and the first person from a biracial background to hold the post. His father was a doctor from India and his mother an Irish nurse. He served on the high post twice, the first lasted three years, the second a little more than that. He will continue till his successor is elected. Even before he became PM, Varadkar was active when it came to social issues such as campaigning for legalizing gay sex marriage and for repealing a ban on abortion. He also led Ireland during the tumultuous Brexit days and the pandemic. The highlights of his prime ministerial career are many, as he says. Working with colleagues, I've had the honour of helping to lead Ireland from unemployment to full employment, from a budget deficit to budget surplus, from austerity to prosperity, through a pandemic in which we saved lives and livelihoods, through Brexit when we prevented a hard border between North and South and protected our place in Europe. I'm proud that we've made the country a more equal and more modern place when it comes to the rights of children, the LGBT community, equality for women and their bodily autonomy. More recently, we've read, led the country through an inflation and cost of living crisis, the worst of which is now thankfully behind us. We've made significant steps towards affordable childcare and universal healthcare, making access to both more affordable for more people. We've made work pay better with the implementation of a national living wage, statutory sick pay, lower personal taxes, improved family leave, allowing parents to spend more time with their children in those crucial early years. Many Irish would agree with that, which explains the surprise over him quitting. So what could have been the trigger? Earlier this month, voters thrashed the government's positions in referendums on two constitutional amendments. The changes would have broadened the definition of family and removed language about a woman's role in the home. Varadkar admitted he got it wrong. His parents settled down in Ireland nearly 50 years ago. He went on to study medicine just like his father, became a general practitioner and even served in the NHS. In 2007, he was elected to parliament for the first time and later, after his party took power in a coalition government, he held several ministerial roles, including that of health minister. He is known to speak his mind, be it openly admitting that he is gay, campaigning for issues considered taboo in a traditionally conservative society, and also admitting when things go wrong. He is only 45 now and could have carried on, but there is never a right time to resign high office, as he says. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more.